I'm finally making a long requested dish for Maxi Boy. Today is all about au gratin potatoes. Potatoes au gratin, whatever it is. But you just can't have potatoes because I like the idea of meat and potatoes. But in our case, a 45 day dry aged, beautiful steak. Ours. Au gratin potatoes are, they're delightful. They're cheesy, they're melty, they're soft, they're tender. We're gonna do them a kind of Hasselback style. You know you've seen us do that before. When you take a potato and you slice down almost all the way through but not through it, and it sort of opens up a little bit like this, the benefit of that to the slices laying down is that the tops will get crispy. The bottoms, the middles, and below will be tender and creamy and rich and great. But the top should get some nice crisp on them and that's what we want. I'm gonna do a couple things differently because I can and because I want to. We're gonna add a bacon and onion component to this in the form of finely diced bacon and, and onion. And I'm using three cheeses, we'll get to that point. So let's start the bacon rendering, we'll get the onions in, we'll mandolin our potatoes, we'll shred our cheeses, we'll build this beautiful casserole in this dish of the whole thing and we'll get it in the oven. <sighs> then we'll cook our steak, Phew. it's gonna be easy though, super simple. First thing in, the bacon, nice. Don't need any oil, you see this is very fine, that's the whole goal. I don't want giant pieces of bacon. This is not a BLT. This is elegant potatoes au gratin or gratin. And gratin is cheese, I think. Cheesy potatoes. Just as it starts to get to about the halfway point, we'll add the onions. And after, oh, just about two minutes, in go the onions. We can help that along with a little squeeze of oil. And now this, over the next, you know, 10, 15 minutes, will start to caramelize beautifully. So you can just leave these alone, give them a quick stir every now and then, but we'll move next to our potatoes. These are peeled potatoes in water because if they're not in water, they start to turn brown and nobody wants that. This is my mandolin. I'm looking for slices that are about an eighth of an inch thick. So what we'll do is we'll take a potato out, take a little bit off the end like that, and then we'll check and see if this is the right thickness. I think I'd like it maybe a tiny bit thinner. Let's see what this does. This is what I want, I want this. So now we just bang away at it, being cognizant of the fact that it's gonna get near the end and we don't wanna lose our fingertips. Not there yet, a beautiful little pile. I'm just gonna take this, put it back into my water to keep it nice and I'll crack on. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of these. Max, Chancy, make this go fast. And with what I think is enough potatoes being mandolined, we move on to our cheeses. Here's what we're doing. I want two ounces of each of my three cheeses. So I'll just get my little scale here so I know. Excuse me while I do that. There we go. What does that say? Can you see that? Oomph. What does that even mean? Oomph, oomph, oomph. Oh my God. Let's try this again. You know that you're supposed to match up the plus signs. Okay, we're good. Zero it out. I want ounces, I'll put this on. I'll zero this out. There we go, okay. Zero ounces on the readout, and now we can do this. The first cheese I'm using is Gruyere, which is the more traditional cheese for au gratin potatoes, but this happens to be a smoked one because I do like the addition of a little extra of that. So now I'll just grate myself two ounces. So here's the onions and the bacon. I'm gonna stop here. They look amazing and they smell even better. Next, Fontina. <laughs> Do you need a strong young lad to come in there and help you? No, I will not show my weak side. Next, let me just push this over. Nail Parmesan. Look, I hope I have enough Parmesan. This I should have done in a processor, I'm not kidding. Or bought that already shredded type. But I hate that. I've done half an ounce, that's it. That farm is light. And you need three ounces? Two. All right, get over here, Chance. You're the parm, okay. yes. Uh, right. You're at four, six, five. You yeah. want to you want to go to six. Which one are you using? This great. That guy. Yeah. So you didn't need the help of a strong young lad. Wow. Now pitch hitting number nineteen, the left cameraman, Chancy. <laughs> it's like making negative progress. Isn't it amazing? And going everywhere but the. Prim. You know what it's like? It's like when you move and you you clean out a room and you go to the new place. You drop off. You come back. It's never ending. The shit's still there. You're grading and those numbers are not going anywhere. Jeez. You're not even at five. Come on, 4.8, 4.8. Watch your fingers. 
You're scaring me, bro. Got a little ways to go. Okay, we're making it one ounce of the Parmesan. Are you even at five? Four, nine. Stop at one ounce. Okay. One ounce of Parmesan, ladies and gentlemen. I can't take this anymore. Okay, okay. we're over we're five, we're right there. One ounce, all right, that's it. Okay, time to make this sort of happen. Here's what we do. We mix these cheeses. Chance, a Parmesan was a pain in the ass. It was quite the pain. It's gonna be all worth it. We get these nicely mixed. So we take a new bowl, and we put most of this cheese in here. Leave a little for what will be a topping. And now we take two cups of cream, heavy cream, and it goes. And then we add in our bacon and our onion. Yum, spectacular, really spectacular. I roasted some garlic. So here's a head of garlic that should be squeezy bowl like this. Isn't it crazy when that happens? Typically, well, I don't know what's typical anymore. I was gonna say typically these would have regular garlic, but I really like the idea of this roasted. A couple more things, some fresh thyme, big pinch of salt and pepper, because potatoes need it. And this we can mix. There it is, on cue. Every day. Beautiful. All right, our potatoes are here and they're wet and I don't want them wet. So I'm just gonna take a towel and get them on here and start to dry them a bit. I still have a whole potato in here in case I need more. And I think I'm gonna be okay, but get all these guys here. I mean, this might be enough. And now we just want to do this, dry them. A little moisture's fine, a lot is not. So these guys now are going to go into this bowl Potatoes go in. I don't want them stuck together with no sauce, with none of this cheesiness between them. So I'm gonna do them in small stacks. There's a little bit of work involved here, ladies and gentlemen, but it's really worth it. And then we get our dish that we need to butter that we forgot to. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take our slices, stack them together. Don't worry about them being perfect. A little bit of this liquid is fine, but not too much. We're gonna set them up like this. I'll start here, and we're gonna stand them up and run them all the way around the edge. Max, a little au gratin potato making music, please. Well, I think we did okay here. I mean, look, is it some work? Yeah, but just wait for the payoff. So now this extra liquid comes in here. Sorry, Chance, I know you can't see this. I think it came up about halfway. Make sure everybody's comfortable, seated nicely. Here's the plan. Okay, well, I got a little wiping to do, clean up my edges, but I'm quite happy with this. I'm gonna cover it tightly with foil. It's going in a 400 degree oven for about uh, 35, 40 minutes. Then we'll take the foil off, give it another 15 or so, then put the extra cheese that I saved on top, another 10, and out it comes. But while this is cooking, I guess I can make a steak. All right, it's been about 30, 35 minutes and time to take the foil off. It just, listen, it doesn't look anything like it's going to. In fact, it looks kind of horrible right now. It looks like some gruel shit that Oliver would have eaten in the movie. All right, see you in half an hour. All right, here's my steak and it's a beaut and it's a pound. I've lightly oiled it, now I'm gonna season it. Now, I wasn't really planning on doing this steak today, but I like the idea of steak and potatoes. So I'm using something that is made with activated charcoal. I'm working on this for something. And really, in addition to activated charcoal, which you just buy like on Amazon or at a health food store, there's some chipotle in here, there's salt, and there's a couple other things. And it's gonna be, I think, really great. In addition to looking cool, because, because look at it, it's jet black. And on we go, like that. So I'm employing the two-zone cooking method. This side is hot, this side is not. I mean, there's a little bit of heat. Look, I can hold my hand there, no sweat. Four seconds, five, six, seven here. No, oh shit. So we're gonna sear it really well on this side and then bring it over here, close the lid, and let it cook more like in an oven. And that will help it cook evenly all the way through. But damn, I'm loving the color of that. It's crazy, huh? All right, one quick turn. You can't even see the marks. Trust me, they're there. This will be most impressive when you slice it. Get the jet black outside and the beautiful medium rare red inside. Okay, I've done about uh, four minutes on each side. And now we come over here to the not so hot side. Close her up, let her do its magic. Okay, remember how they looked last time? Oh shit, oh damn. Now we're just gonna take a little bit of the cheese that we held back. See you in 20 minutes. Run, run, run! <laughs> Quick, it's bubbling still. Look at this, holy shit. 
All right, let me get it off of here. I mean, holy shit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna tell you something. It's very important. Do not, and I mean this, do not try to eat it now because it'll be like a volcano in your mouth. So for sure, let the bubbling subside. Give it 10 minutes, then you can go for it. Can you say caramelized onion, bacon, potatoes, au gratin, au gratin. What are they called? And the last thing it needs, some finely chopped chives. And you know I'm a green onion fan mostly, but they're kind of an onion. But green onions would be too big. I just want that little delicate hint. Well, we might as well have a little steak with it too. Just let me make a couple of cuts here. That's what I meant. The jet black and the beautiful red. It's insane. I was worried I'd overcooked it. I think I nailed it. But now we eat. And we'll have this little corner piece here. Mm. So might as well. Oh, the cream. That. That. That is everything. Food is life. That's not a saying, is it? Water is life. Is like a Water is life, but good food is life. See, here's this little crispy, cheesy, melty. Oh my God, look at the little bits of bacon. Holy son of a, oh, gratin potato. There you go, bite time. Mm. Onion, cheese, bacon. Heaven, heaven. Are, are, you, are you seeing what's going on here? With all this soft undercarriage, crispy, cheesy, burned edge top of it and steam for effing days. But wait, don't stop because you gotta have a little bite of steak with this. It's steak and potatoes, it's meat and potatoes. Mmm, mmm, the chipotle, the, mm. God, it's so good. Mm. I'm like a overweight uh, child in a candy store. In the steak and potatoes store. You can say that, right? Overweight child? Mm. All right. You can say fat kid. You can say fat kid? Yes. I won't get shut down? No. Like a fat kid in a candy store. Sorry, if you're a fat kid. Now I feel bad. Listen, if you're fat, just <laughs> Oh God, I thought you were gonna say work out and eat better. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks a lot. Listen, this was just supposed to be Max's au gratin potatoes. The steak was a side thing of mine. Uh, I, had to, I had to throw it in. Glad I did, because these go together like Max and Chance. Not in the biblical sense, if you know what I mean. Hit the subscribe button. See ya. What'd I do with that big black towel? You let me drop my towel and didn't say anything. You let me drop my towel. I didn't fucking say anything. I don't know. I mean, I've probably got like three rows, right? You only have 52 seconds, so it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Do you want the full power of the sun? Let me do it as bright as you can. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Me. Look at me and we'll see a world of imagination. Right,